Mr. Prasad, as I understand it, RVNL has about 15 to 20 percent um, share in railway orders. Do you see that increasing? Can you give us a sense of what your order book outlook is? You have uh, said, or the company has said, one lakh crore rupees over the next few quarters. Are you sticking to that? Are you increasing that? Give us a sense there. So I will start with the vision of the Honorable Railway Minister. What he said that in this particular financial year, we have got a capex of 2 lakhs 45,000 crores. And moreover, uh, and more or less, it is likely to be maintained in next uh, few years. So if you see the uh, statistics in 2014-15, the capex was only 58,000 crores in the Ministry of Railways. Now, if you see the RVNL's uh, turnover in 2014-15, it was uh, uh, around, uh, uh, maybe around uh, 3,000 crores, 2,490 crores to be precise. And the PAT was 157 crores. And in 2022-23, it has gone up to 20,300 crores. And the PAT has gone up to 1270 crores. Now, the first two quarters results have been out. It is there in the public domain. For the first time, we have crossed the number of 10,000 crores in first two quarters. And the PAT has gone up by more than it, it is more than 700 crores so in 23 24 we are going to have another breaking record uh, as far as the top line the bottom line is concerned the order book you said see uh, uh, what are our aims for this financial year yeah. we wanted to have the top line growing to the extent of 21000 crores plus the bottom line growing to 1400 crores plus we wanted to have the order book of 1 lakh crores but uh, we may land uh, maybe around 80,000 to 85,000 crores, but we are actively participating. We are eyeing so many projects. See, this is altogether a new field. Earlier, we were getting the works only on the nomination basis. And in two years and few months, we have transformed from the local rail infra to global all infra. And uh, Prime Honorable Prime Minister keeps on saying the reform, perform and transform. RVNL is the perfect example of this, that we have reformed, we have performed, and we are transforming. Now, if you see the statistics of RVNL, uh, the last 10 years continuously, even during the COVID time, it has broken the previous year's record in terms of the top line, in terms of the bottom line. And uh, we are very confident. See, the railway infrastructures, the Honorable Railway Minister had also said that it is very complicated and complex. And here comes the expertise of RVNL. We have got the proven track record. We resolve the technical issues through technical expertise and technical knowledge. We do a lot of value addition. We save a lot of time. We try to execute the projects in the fastest manner. Some of the things are not within our hands, but we have been delivering. That is why we have been able to commission more than 40 projects which have been assigned by Ministry of Railways.